Hello there, I'm Dr. Powell, and in this video I'm going to discuss hormone DHT, the central player in male pattern hair loss. Over 2,000 years ago, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, observed that eunuchs don't go bald. And in the 1940s, anatomist James Hamilton found that there was an interplay between age, genetics, and hormones that led to male pattern hair loss. He was able to discover this through simple observation of males castrated at different age groups. Through these observations, Hamilton hypothesized that testosterone, the primary androgen, was the main culprit behind male pattern hair loss. However, it was later discovered that metabolite testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, was the main driving force behind male balding. So what exactly is DHT? It is a hormone belonging to a class known as the androgens. Androgens function to regulate the development and maintenance of masculine characteristics. They are involved in growth, body development, and reproductive health. They are typically thought of as male hormones, but women also produce them in much smaller amounts. Androgens are produced by the testicles of men, ovaries in women, and in the adrenal glands of both sexes. These hormones influence the muscle development, fat production, bone density, metabolism, changes during puberty, as well as sexual desire and function. DHT, which is derived from the conversion of testosterone by action of the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, is the most potent of the androgens and is considered a pure androgen in that it cannot be converted into estrogen. Although DHT has been given a bad rap due to its role in male pattern hair loss, it is an essential hormone from fetal development until puberty, after which it becomes implicated in certain medical conditions in adult men. During adulthood, DHT has no significant role in normal male physiology and is most notably implicated in prosthetic enlargement and male pattern hair loss. DHT is formed primarily at the peripheral tissues of the body where it exerts its effects, and for male pattern hair loss, this occurs at the hair follicles. Testosterone is converted to DHT at the hair follicle when it comes in contact with the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. DHT then binds to receptors on susceptible hair follicles, activating the genes that start the cascade of reactions that lead to progressively shorter growth cycles, causing the hairs to become shorter and thinner to a point where the follicle is incapable of sustaining healthy hair growth. Men with male pattern hair loss have higher 5-alpha reductase enzyme levels in androgen receptor activity at the hair follicles of the balding scalp region, which in turn leads to higher local levels of DHT. Blocking the conversion of testosterone to DHT delays the progression of hair loss, and this is the principle behind the medical management of male pattern hair loss in which prescription medications are used that competitively block the enzyme, thereby leading to substantially low levels of this hormone and restraining its negative effects on susceptible hair follicles, allowing men who were destined to lose these hairs to maintain them on their scalps for much longer periods of time. Well, I hope you found this short overview helpful, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my video where I discuss finasteride.